I'm up here making any kind of announcement. It's because I'm selling popcorn. <laughs> but in this case, it's because I'm graduating and I'm beginning a new path in life. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Jordan Holland, and I've been a member of the St. Anne's family ever since I was four months old. I remember the earlier days of Sunday school with Stuart, who always taught me challenging new ways to look at things, and Faith, who let us play with Legos while we learned through conversations. I remember the quiet carpet for children to sit during services, but I would always try to sneak in my Game Boy, <laughs> even though I knew I was only allowed to bring crayons and coloring books. I remember my first time acolyting, and I was so nervous that I forgot to carry the cross back out during the closing hymn. <laughs> I remember countless pancake suppers with Chuck as head chef and building the bell tower in the meditation garden under the instruction of David Linton. And I remember more recent Sunday school classes with Donna, Donna's infant and powerful smile and Krispy Kreme donuts. But once I got a job at Dunkin' Donuts, she was scared to keep eating Krispy Kreme. <laughs> One Sunday school class I had canoeing on the New River with Kirk and Andrew. And at one point when me and Kirk were in the canoe, we, uh, I had a miscommunication for a last second maneuver to avoid a rock. And we got hung up on the rock and flipped over into the icy waters of early Sunday morning New River. <laughs> I remember even icier water during our pilgrimage to Vermont and Canada. We had been able to stay in an Episcopal summer camp on Lake Champlain the week before the campers arrived. And one of the counselors we met there <coughs> told us about these cliffs on the lake that we could jump off of. <laughs> so of course, Andrew and Arthur and I, we swam and canoed around the entire peninsula searching for these cliffs. <laughs> and we came back with videos of our 50-foot cliff jumps, which Hal and Kirk weren't too excited to see. <laughs> but Kirk was glad to upload pictures to our pilgrimage blog for the St. Anne's viewers to see. <clears throat> St. Anne's family raised me, and everyone in this church played a role in taking me to where I am today. From square dancing with Linda and Catherine and Cameron at the pie auction, to building and repairing homes in a tornado-destroyed trailer park, <coughs> to waking up every Sunday and coming to church and taking communion with my mom. St. Anne's will always be my home.